Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. We are going to start principles of microeconomics lecture 2. Let's start law of diminishing marginal utility. First we explain what the law says. Let's see explain it. If other things don't change, other things don't change mean it's are the assumptions of the law. Within the assumption law will be accurate and if these things don't change a consumer increase the use of a commodity when consumer is going to use more units of a commodity the utility of every new unit of the commodity will be less than the utility of the previous unit it means each new unit will having the less utility compared to the previous utility which already consumer has used let let's explain this law with the help of our table and a diagram see here uh, here are the number of apples units of number of apples and how much margin utility we obtained from each additional unit of an apple you can see that if one unit of apple is providing 10 units 10 units of margin utility next unit of apple 2 unit of apple is providing 8 units for margin utility it means that as units of apple are going to increase margin utility availed from these units is going on to decrease so we can say that as quantity increase Margin utility is going on to decrease, and this will be the attitude till the point of unit six until margin utility is going on to zero. After this level, when margin utility is zero, margin utility is zero at this level. After it, the consumer is going on to increase more unit after zero utility margin utility if consumer is going to increase more unit this additional unit will results into the negative marginal utility it means that here is the level up to a level if the consumer increase of a unit it means margin utility will decrease after that level if consumer increase of a unit it will result into zero margin utility and if after the same level consumer increase the unit margin utility will be negative let's explain this table with the help of a diagram now you can see here that on the x-axis we are going to present margin utility while on the y-axis we have to present here y-axis and here x-axis on the y-axis we have to mention marginal utility and on x-axis we have to present the quantity and how we can explain here look here when additional units are going on to increase as quantity is going on to increase each additional unit result into decreasing the marginal utility and after a specified level after a specified level marginal utility is going on to negative this show the behavior that each additional unit for the is resulting each additional unit for the consumer resulting into the negative marginal utility let's explain the assumptions of the model number first is nature of the community for approving our accuracy of the law first we assume that nature of the quantity it's mean the product which the consumer is using nature mean quality and type of the community don't change as we you have seen in the table that we are taking additional unit of apple one two three four five six every time we are taking the units of apple we are not going to change the community it means nature of the community remains the same second one is taste and attitude of the consumer and uh, 
इट्स मीन दैट टेस्ट एंड एटीट्यूड ऑफ द कंज्यूमर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू लेटिन इफ कंज्यूमर इज कंज्यूमिंग द सेम प्रोडक्ट एंड द टेस्ट ऑफ द कंज्यूमर इज नॉट गोइंग चेंज विद ईच एडिशनल यूनिट नेक्स्ट वन वी कैन से इनकम ऑफ द कंज्यूमर डोंट चेंज इट्स मीन दैट कंज्यूमर विल हैव टू इंक्रीज हिज सेटिस्फेक्शन फॉर दिस पर्पज इनकम ऑफ द कंज्यूमर विल रिमेन द सेम बिकॉज वैन इनकम इंक्रीज टेस्ट एंड एटीट्यूड ऑफ द कंज्यूमर चेंज नेचर ऑफ द कम्यूनिटी कैन बी चेंज सो वी एज्यूम हेयर इनकम ऑफ द कंज्यूमर रिमेन सेम नेक्स्ट वन वी से डैट देर मस्ट बी आ सूटेबल साइज सूटेबल साइज मीन एवरी टाइम आई सी फुल यूनिट ऑफ एप्पल इट्स मीन एवरी टाइम आई विल हैव टू टेक होल एप्पल होल पार्ट ऑफ द एप्पल नॉट एप्पल आई कट दैट वन एप्पल इन टू स्लाइसिस एंड ईच स्लाइस इज एन एडिशनल यूनिट नो इट्स नॉट एकट इट द साइज ऑफ अ यूनिट मस्ट बी ऑफ appropriate size or suitable size next one is continuous consumption it means that the product which i am going to consume its use must be continuous for example i take i drink one glass of water after that i drink second glass of water after that i drink third glass of water and so on but if i drink one glass of water on day monday second glass on tuesday third glass on wednesday these three glass are not going to decrease the marginal utility marginal utility will only decrease when all the units are consumed continuously in a specified period of time specified time period let's discuss limitations which mean law will be accurate within the assumptions but after outside of the assumptions we are having some limitation first one is knowledge as uh, you have no that uh, as we say each additional unit decrease the marginal utility but in case of knowledge it's not so that as uh, you see the educated persons that each additional degree they have it's mean they have more marginal utility they have more income they have more job opportunities it's mean knowledge increase in the knowledge or increase in the degrees you have uh, you will obtain more um, higher marginal utility for example if you are having the degree of pit compared to a person who is having the degree of matric it's mean that margin utility of the person who is having phd degree is higher than the person who is having a matric degree second one is wealth and income this mean that when wealth increase margin utility margin utility related with it is not going on to decrease instead it will increase next one is drugs and narcotics in case of drugs if you see the example of our narcotics or take the example of the addicts addicts actually obtain more satisfaction or utility with the consumption of each addition units and these addition unit are not going to decrease their prop satisfaction or utility next one is rare articles rare articles in case of rare articles uh, if you visit any exhibition where that is full of uh, articles it means that each uh, addition of a rare article is having more margin utility instead of less marginal utility next one is practical importance number 1 is it explain why demand curve falls from left to right this mean that when we say demand curve it mean that why demand curve is having the negative slope why it is from left to right is mean that as price fall quantity increase but this attitude will be not in case of marginal utility in case of marginal utility when we increase a unit marginal utility decrease so we are not going to purchase additional purchase the additional unit of that commodity But we will only purchase the nation in order of that commodity when we have a 
where we have for use for of particular product or a commodity next one is it provides basics for progressive taxation what is progressive taxation progressive taxation is actually tax increase on the persons who are having more income and tax decrease on the person who are having less income it's mean it's uh, this law is helpful for implementation of tax it's mean government will impose high tax on the person mean high tax on the person who is having low income low income why presents low income why income and less tax on the person who is having high tax on the person who is having who is high actually high tax on the person who is having this is the case i just explained you like this gas increase in tax for the person who is having high income and decrease in tax for the person who is having low income where y represents to income it's mean if you have high tax you have high tax it's mean if you have high tax it means income is high if you have low tax it means income is lower next one next one is redistribution of wealth this attitude this attitude will actually this attitude actually shows how we can redistribution of income mean more income to the poor persons and high income to the wealthy persons next one and last one is it explains how a consumer get maximum utility because it's describe the attitude of the consumer towards the consumption of the goods so when the consumption of the units going on to increase the consumer is having more utility for obtaining the equilibrium this is the lecture of today hopefully all of you have understand it in case of any confusion or any problem please discuss into the comments bar comments bar i will answer your questions as soon as possible see you in the next lecture allah hafiz